The mother of the 10 year old boy who police say was murdered by his 13 year old friend is speaking out tonight. She's talking about the relationship of the two boys after her son was stabbed multiple times during a sleepover. KDK's Barry Pintar has a story from Westmoreland County. The accused, 13-year-old James Campbell, was escorted into a district magistrate's office in Greensburg for his arraignment, wearing only blue scrubs and no shoes. One day later, Dorothy Myers, the mother of the murdered, 10-year-old Hunter Myers, publicly reacting, sharing pictures on Facebook, saying, Please feel free to share his pictures. My son's beautiful face needs to be out there. Police say James Campbell killed Hunter Myers during a sleepover at his home on Donegal Lake Road in Donegal Township. Police found Myers dead in an upstairs bedroom, stabbed multiple times in the head. A knife was lying next to him. Campbell had blood on him and cuts on his hand. Police paperwork say he confessed to the stabbing. In another Facebook post, Dorothy Myers spoke of the relationship of the two boys, saying, I am ready to share this now. James was my son's cousin and my nephew. There is no blood relation, but it doesn't take blood to be a family. Hunter and James were cousins and best friends. James Campbell is being charged with homicide in the first degree. Bond was denied. He has been charged as an adult. Dorothy Myers posted, as Hunter's mother, I am asking for compassion for James. He has already confessed and is being charged as an adult, and yes, I am pushing for that. He brutally murdered my son, his cousin and best friend. My son was asleep and never had a chance to react or be scared. That's what I am clinging to now. Nowhere does Dorothy Myers talk about why this may have happened. And she posted, quote, we had no warning on anything. We've definitely done some interviews and some uh, investigation uh, into like why this would happen and we don't really have anything that appears like a, a direct motive of why this would take place if there was some uh, ongoing feud things of that nature. The funeral director for Brooks Clyde Funeral Home in Melcroft confirms funeral arrangements for Hunter Myers are being made there. Barry Pintar, KDKA TV News.